all right so let's discuss 4t manager uh, basically 4t manager is a security management appliance it can be virtual and it can be a physical appliance from where you can centrally manage any number of 4t net network security devices network security devices mean it can be a 40 gate firewall it can be a 40 ap it can be 40 switch so if i go to my topology so this is our topology and we have 40 manager here so if i go to this 40 manager and there is ap manager as well it means you can use 40 manager to manage access point as well you can manage a 40 switches as well and you can manage extension so many other stuff as well so number of network security devices can be managed from 40 manager but our target is 40 gate firewall so in our topology we have 340 gate firewall which we want to man manage and monitor from a centralized location and we can use 40 manager for that purpose however you can use for many other devices as well like a 40 analyzer you can control that one as well even you can use them as a 40 analyzer as well to collect the logs if you enable that feature as well so if i go to system setting so even i can use 40 manager as a 40 analyzer it's a 40 analyzer feature is disabled if you want to enable so it will provide you that feature as well so not only monitoring monitoring means like a vpn if you want to monitor vpn i ipsec vpn or ssl vpn so there is a monitoring as well and map as well and also if you go to device manager so here you will also find a monitor sd WAN monitor vpn monitor logs each and everything from a centralized location and not only few devices thousand of devices can be controlled through 40 manager so if you have a large organization and you have so many 40 net devices maybe 40 gate or maybe 40 ap or 40 switches or whatever so you can use 40 manager to control and monitor and deploy all these devices from one location which we call them 40 manager you can push the policy from one location you can use them as a update management system as well so here is policy and object as well don't worry we will discuss these all these things just this is just introduction to 40 manager and here is the policy so you can create a policy to push them to all your devices and object as well so for that purpose we can use 40 manager and this way we can control and deploy and manage from centralized location all these devices so it means it's more easy rather than i should go to each and every devices to log in in this case i have three firewall so i need to log in to three firewall to create an object to create a policy to create a route all these things rather than to log in each and every devices suppose if you have more devices in organization maybe 100 devices so it will be very difficult for you to handle those devices and control of those devices policy of those devices so what you can do you can do all these things from one place and for that purpose we are using 40 manager so in this way easy management easy deployment reduce cost of operation as well task as well reduce time as well save time as well so many things you can achieve through this one not only policy and object you can deploy vpn as well from a centralized location it can be a full mesh it can be a star it can be partial mesh whatever the vpn you want to deploy so again you can use even ad vpn you can deploy through 40 manager if i go to 40 manager and there is a vpn manager as well 
So here I can create a community and this community can be star, it can be full mesh and it can be a dial up. So suppose if I give them a name and star topology I want to create. So here these are the same things which has to be the same in all firewall. So you just need to create once and push them to all firewall. So it means you save a time as well and easy management. But you need to register first all these devices to 40 manager. So under this it's like an active directory centralized management. It's like a panorama from where you can register all Palo Alto firewall to manage them and you can create a template as well. So a similar approach like that we call them 40 manager. So it means 40 manager can help you to better organize and manage your network. Instead of logging to hundred and thousand of 40 gate device individually, you can use 40 manager to manage them all from a single console. That's what I told you. So from a single console and single place you can manage all these devices. Also in 40 manager you can create group of devices. So if I go to 40 manager, so not only VPN, not only SDVN, even though SDVN can be deployed to all these devices which we will see in the lab and we, we will see VPN as well. Okay, I was talking about yeah, so 40 group, you can create a group as well and also ADOMS, we will do these two as well. So this is devices and group. So here you can create a new group and you can put separate devices. Like maybe you have many branches and maybe in different countries or maybe in different location. So you can create a group like an active directory. We create group and then we put user in the uh, group. But here in the group we put uh, devices and it can be any devices in most cases it can be 40 gate firewall but it can be any other 40 net security devices. So you can create a devices group as well for better management. That's why I mentioned here and also ADOMS which we will see. So this is ADOMS. So you can create ADOMS. I create just one for test purpose 40 gate and here is the root which is the default and we will discuss global as well. So you can separate the devices and put them in a separate ADOMS. Here I put three uh, firewall. One of them is synchronized other is we will see this anyway. So you can use this one as well. So if you have a large team of network security administrator, so what you can do, you can create uh, a DOMS and then you can create a users. So if I go to system settings, so here you can create a uh, admin and there is different profile as well. So create and assign them to separate a DOMS. All a DOMS? No. Specify which a DOMS. So you can choose a DOMS from here like a 40 gate and assign them. So in this way you can manage a big organization where you have a large team of network security administrator. So you can assign them to specific, uh, you know, uh, through functional a DOMS. Divide them, put the 40 gate firewall and those and assign to specific security administrator to access only those devices. 40 manager keep history of all configuration changes as well. So whatever you are doing, so even logs are there and also task monitor are there. Whatever you done, it also there. Like there was error, January, all these detail are there. And so many other things can you can achieve them through 40 manager. You can schedule 40 manager to deploy new configuration, revert the configuration, previous configuration. Take a backup from one location, push the configuration to all devices. You can monitor, you can do whatever you like through 40 manager and you can use them as a private FDN server. I told you, you need just need to download all the updates in the 40 manager and then you can push them to all these devices. So not every devices need to go to internet to Fortinet to download each and everything. So you can use them like that. Fortinet can schedule from where upgrade and update as well. Definitely you can achieve that one as well. And then you can push them to all these devices which we will see in the lab. Also there is a support of CLI based and TLS based scripting deployment. 
so through cli you can also push many configuration not only graphically but through cli there is a scripting and through scripting you can also do a lot of things and through cli and there is a template as well for ipsec tunnel for system template SD WAN template and so routing template CLI template and you can push those template as well to the devices also as, as I told you manage devices can store logs on 40 manager you can use 40 manager as a 40 analyzer as well so if I go to system settings so you can enable let me go to dashboard you can enable this devices to work like a 40 analyzer feature as well to collect the logs so you can use them for that purpose as well 40 manager and you can do reporting as well if you enable that feature and you can definitely create and manage firewall policy for multiple 40 gate firewall from a single console and then you can push those policies and object easily to all these firewalls so if I go to system setting and there is policy and object so you can create a dynamic object and you can create dynamic policy to push them to all the devices from a single place suppose I have three firewall and I want to create a policy here and then I can push them to all these and dynamically it will adopt the port number so you can do that one as well and for that purpose we can use normalize interfaces which we will discuss and we will see in the lab but this is just introduction to 40 manager so 40 manager allow you to quickly create and modify policy with easy graphical user interface so you have a 40 manager through which you can control all your devices anywhere any branch from a centralized location and you can create different administrator different adoms different object and a different group of the devices so you can control them separately by every administrator so this was uh, just introduction to 40 manager even though this 40 manager can do more than this introduction but at least you get the idea that what is 40 manager